G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of DigitalScrapbookingHQ.com and today I'm here to show you how you can remove fine lines from a photograph. Before we start editing any photograph, the first thing we'll want to do is to click File, Save As and save our file as a Photoshop document. Then, go to Duplicate the original photo layer so that we have a backup photo within the Photoshop document in case we need it. 99% of the time I don't worry about doing much skin smoothing or retouching on a photograph. But if you have a loved one or yourself and you're feeling a little bit self-conscious about a photograph then this might be the way to go. There's several options for how you can do skin retouching in Photoshop elements. I'll show you one way that I like to use. Click on the new layer icon and then use your spot healing brush to paint making sure it's sampling all layers over the fine lines and wrinkles on your model. You could also use that to get the hair off her face as well. I wouldn't worry about trying to get every single hair out of the way, but the ones that cross over her eyes, I will. So you can continue painting until you're happy with how everything looks. I'm not going to remove every single line because you'd look completely unnatural but removing the main lines and wrinkles can help make your model feel more comfortable about the photograph. Especially if you're doing an enlargement. Now if you feel you've gone too far with your retouching, you can always press Ctrl Z to undo your last few actions or you can reduce the opacity of the layer that you're using. Now I've noticed that trying to retouch over the eyes is quite difficult. So I'm just going to zoom in and use my paintbrush to just draw in a couple of eyelashes. Yeah, it's much too thick. There we go. Just a few eyelashes there which have been missed. This is perfect sort of technique. For example, if you're going to enlarge a wedding photo or you've got a family photo that you really want to use but someone feels a little bit uncomfortable about how they look. So let's see before and after. There's just a bit less distracting hair there and fewer fine lines. Okay. So if we want to do a little bit more of general skin softening. We can use our smart brush again and choose from the portrait mode to soft focus and then we're going to just paint all over the face here and then we can actually paint on our mask with our black brush to just bring the eyes and the teeth and lips back into focus a little bit more. So you'll see there's just a little bit less detail on the skin which gives it a little bit wrinkle free um, and gentle look. So here's before and after. Still a very natural look. There's just, we've just given her a good night's sleep and taken a couple of years off.